Hi YouTube, uh, my screen is a little dark or whatever. I'm not, I don't really do these types of things. Anyway, I'm like super shy, nervous, but hear me out. My name is Ray. Uh, that's my middle name. My first name is Naomi, but I do have a preference on my middle name because I am non-binary transgender. So I usually go by they, them, theirs, which is my preferred pronouns, but being told or heard she, her, hers, doesn't bother me too much. It does cause me a bit of dysphoria, but not so much to where it's debilitating. So my preferred name is Ray. My preferred pronouns is they, them, theirs. I have autism, OCD, ADHD, dyslexia. <laughs> I, um, color blindness. I, I suck at reading my own handwriting. I sometimes just cannot contemplate. And I am also left-handed. That is an ambidextrous mouse being used on the left hand, by the way, and that's my keyboard. Those are my computers, monitors, and yes, I was born in Texas. Great state of Texas. Although, technically, I guess not so much right now. So I have many special interests, the plans behind here for an example, as well as YouTube. So if you're quite interested in any of that in the future, as well as just cute stuffed animals and books and whatnot, I welcome you to subscribe to the channel. I'm currently uploading videos to the channel because I am suffering from memory retention and comprehension, if that makes sense. I have caused a bit of brain damage to my neurological sectors within my brain due to the last uh, three suicide attempts I took on my own life, unfortunately. I am not proud of any of them at all. But I would say that I am in a much better place and I am trying to move on past all of that basic and basically get back to my baseline. The one on the left is Eleanor and the one on the right is String Bear. I don't remember her name. These are these are these are my two lesbian couple bears and they've been together for a long time and I they're taking a nap right now, and I, I couldn't bother to separate them. They're, they love each other, so we have to be quiet. I'm going to show you my other special interest out in the garden. And this is another one of my special interests, uh, I guess gardening. A lot of my stuff did die, but some of the stuff did grow, and it still continues to go. Um, the tomato plant on the left is Steve, and the one on the right is Howard. There are two gay dads and they have a little baby tomato plant right here and it's so pretty and cute. I don't know if it's growing or it's done though. And then right here we all have bok choy. Baby bok choy. I just have so much bok choy it's not even funny. And uh, and in here there's more bok choy. That's Kalia, our, our kale plant. Uh, the one on the right, I think this is the right, my right, that's Cora. And the one on the left is Lily. They're also a lesbian couple. They make peppers, pepper plants. You know what I mean? Okay, so the sweet potato on the left right here is Snoopy. The one on the right is Woodstock. This is Mama Sugar climbing the trellis. And there is also a little baby, so little sugar. We'll call her little, little sugar. Um, this is Lucy. She's not doing too well. She's a, a, a pumpkin. Linus is right here. Linus is also not doing too well. This is Kane, who's just going up here with uh, Abel right there. And then Lucifer in the middle, who's climbed every part of the garden here on this bed along with Kane. So they're all living up to their names. They currently have a fungal infection. I did treat them earlier, but it seems like it has spread way too much. I can keep them at bay by removing the leaves or using fungicide. Currently, I did use fungicide within a, like a week or so to go, and it uh, ended up breaking me out in a rash up on my armpits, so I'm kind of wary of using it right now. And it has been getting down to 40 degrees at night, so, you know, that's not really nice for pumpkins. So, they might just be slowly dying, and this is just simply called the circle of life. All I can do right now is just give them the best quality of life that I possibly can, 
and continue to allow my bok, my bok choy to thrive. These right here are my normal russet potatoes. They just keep getting big. I might need to get a trellis for these soon because they just constantly keep flying. Uh, this is my morning glory. Uh, she has got uh, uh, some flowers. They were open earlier today, but I ended up watering them and they ended up closing and kind of sucks. This is willow. She is a willow herb. She has bloomed a little bit and I think she's pretty, so I left her there. And these are my radishes. The rabbits really love the radish. They do eat these a lot, as well as the slugs and whatnot. And this is another uh, morning glory plant. As you can see, it's gonna bloom too, as well soon. And this one has white flowers, whereas the ones over there have blue flowers, which are probably not blue for non-color blind people. Um, and I kind of just let her vine all the way up here. I might get a trellis for her. I'm just gonna keep going into here and down to the pak choy. And then we just have this random freaking parsley or celery or whatever. I just haven't figured out what this is yet. I know it's not a weed though. So I just leave it as is. That's gonna probably be it for the channel introduction. Uh, I wear sunglasses due to light sensitivity. So I might wear these also indoors and you might see that of me doing that. I think this is gonna be it for the vlog. I guess for the introduction for the channel. So if this is what you're into, this is usually what I'm doing. This is uh, me self-stimming, stimming. So stimulating myself by making a garden and taking care of it and sometimes doing things like this. Which is also me stimming. So if this is the kind of shenanigans you like to see, <laughs> Comment, like, and subscribe for more. I'll see y'all later. The next, next bit of the clip is me discussing about a friend that I had who was the first cisgender friend I've ever made in a really long time who ended up passing away last year. And it's something that I'm continuously going about over and reminding to myself that he wouldn't want me to harm myself or give up on life just because he's no longer here and he was someone who I had collabed with on a gaming channel. So I'll probably talk about Raz a bit and as well myself and see how transition and autism has affected me uh, before and after if that's something you're interested in. So the next couple clips will just be me using a, a high quality microphone that I use for everything else and uh, just a video of me working in my garden. Hope you enjoy. Take care. Bye. So it is basically 0216. I should have been in bed hours ago, but I've been procrastinating on this whole thing, like for God knows how long. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and cut to the chase. The main reason why I started doing YouTube after becoming homeless for, I don't know what number of time I had become homeless and then finally getting a job then losing the job then getting another job and etc 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 I eventually finally got a PC that I could start you know recording and editing and uploading to YouTube and I met a friend whose name is Adam Hayes who at the time before we really you know, talked a whole lot about our personal lives and our personal selves. Uh, I knew him as Razzy or Raz or Razrant, Razrant Entertainment. Uh, <laughs> he was somebody who did a hardcore Iron Man on Old School RuneScape. And I really loved his whole series. He and Oak Dice were the first cisgender males I actually became friends with after being alone for for so not having anyone to like lean on or chat with or hang out with and it was those two people that were the first people that you know they were like yo girl you're like you got a, a fabulous personality it it makes me feel like I'm in the same room with you when I'm watching your content even though I'm not in the same room with you 
watching your content and making me feel less alone in my own apartment. And, you know, they kept telling me how I was like, hey, do you have a YouTube channel? Because you sound like someone I used to know. And they're, you know, kind of pulling off that whole thing. And it's like, I'm not famous. I'm poor. I've been poor all my life. I lived in poverty all my life. And I always lived within my means. And my YouTube channel had 46 subscribers. 46 subscribers remain loyal to my gaming channel when I didn't make videos for a whole four years after a few suicidal attempts and not understanding or realizing I actually had a YouTube channel. I didn't even know that I had a Facebook until like recently. Cause I just, I just didn't freaking know. I would, you, 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 the thing is you shouldn't really commit suicide because, or attempt suicide because one, you don't know what's going to happen. Things eventually do get better and things eventually change. You know, they don't always remain the same, you know, sick shit sandwich the whole freaking day. You know what I mean? Or day in and day out. Things always change. And it took me so freaking long to realize that. But depression, anxiety, stress, it all like ate into me. It was like, I. As a sex worker, that was the only way I was able to pay rent. And I'll go into this in a bit here, but not right now. But it was those two that always told me that things can get better. And the world would be depressed without you if you weren't making content. So I started making content after they had finally pushed me into making content whether I wanted it or not and I got to collab with Oak Dice and I probably will collab with Oak Dice again in the future he seems to be up for that he seems to enjoy collabing with me and uh, with Adam it was like we were gonna do something really fun because I knew that he had a hardcore Iron Man and I wanted to take him out of the grind because if you're not familiar with Old School RuneScape, the hardcore Iron Man grind is to get 99 fire making for the early levels of gear because it just has so much stuff to offer and it doesn't make sense to not do it after you max out and raise your HP above 10 or something like that. It's, it's really complicated. But he was just piss poor bored with his whole hardcore Iron Man series that I felt really bad. I knew that I knew that we had like both had at the time we had like a Amazon Prime membership so we could easily like you know benefit from a whole week of membership to make some sort of mini series that would have been fun. I'll leave a link below in the description box below or on the chat box below in the video the comment section of the whole link to, to my playing improperly series with him. And I'll go into more detail his life. And I just discombobulated that whole sentence and that whole word. And I'm I'm freaking really sorry about it. This is technically the second or the third or fourth time I've been recording this. Because procrastination is a pain in the ass. And I cried enough so far up to this point. That I just don't want to make another recording of this. And... I don't want to record me crying on camera or, or microphone in order to get someone's, like, you know, thing here. But I I cried a lot. And that's the point I'm going to make. Uh, I love Adam. I love Oak Dice. I wish I could have made more content with Adam. But I I just can't do that anymore. I... I come to terms with him being finally gone. I am happy that he and Oak Dice have let me just, you know, relax. Not have to wear a mask all day and try to sound like I'm neurotypical or I'm cisgender. And I, I can just be transgender with them both. And I don't have to be not autistic with them. I, they don't mind me being super duper autistic with them. They don't mind me being super duper transgender with them either. Uh, queer as hell. And uh, I, I appreciate that. 
it means a whole lot to me and I don't have any friends to do much content with anything in life right now and I'm fortunately happy to see that I have some human interaction with them and my real life friend Maddie who also is a woman with autism so you know at this point in time I I'm pretty sure it's to be expected that I I took Adam's friendship like not just Adam's but everyone's friendship for granted because I never really had the opportunity to actually examine you know if I were to successfully commit suicide whose life would I affect from that? And I used to think that it would be no one's life. I wouldn't impact anyone's life in general if I were to do that. Because I've never really truly mattered any to anyone. You know what I mean? That's not actually the case as much as I believed it to be. There are people out there that would be extremely depressed if I were to no longer exist. And that's the main whole issue why I decided to continue making content. Gaming or vlogging content otherwise. And I, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if I'm going to be murdered due to a hate crime because America's kind of weird all over right now. And... I just, I don't want people to have regrets if I were to be murdered or if I somehow magically attempted and committed suicide for the 63rd attempt on my life, that I wouldn't be, have enough stuff to like leave them at least to remember me by so that they can come to terms with me being gone in general. And I don't want to get sad and depressed about that, but I, I'm definitely pushing myself, taking lessons from the people that care about me the most and people I care about the most and jotting down and taking their words to heart so that I don't have to put myself in that situation. Even Maddie, she, she does everything in her power when she's not mentally melting down to reach out to me and and tell me look Naomi you can't you can't be cutting yourself you can't be harming yourself it's not suicide because I would be sad and depressed and lonely without you because you're like my bestie literally she's my bestie I I, I would because she's my only friend I have in person right, right, that I can just go, go and chat right, with up talk about and we don't mind that we we get autistic as hell with one another it, it doesn't matter we don't have to mask we don't have to waste energy and it's like i love her she's she's the best friend i've ever had she's the only cisgender friend i've ever had in a really really long time that i can comprehend and remember but losing razorin or adam i i I fell into a really deep, dark depression. And I had to sort out my feelings a whole lot in order to, to figure out, is this depression caused by my autism? Is it caused because I lost a friend? Is it caused by depression? Or is it because it's caused by gender dysphoria? Because I, I would say my meltdowns were super duper violent. And I was more likely to destroy property or or an item and then afterwards when uh, estrogen became my my main I'm hormonal sorry, the hormone way. i guess of my makeup yeah. that's when i kind of started to self-harm more yeah. and not destroy property whether it was my own or someone else's amongst other things sorry, and i always wanted sure. to socialize with Still people even before medically transitioning, because my brain was always mapped as female for the most part. And 
I also realized as I got older that destroying property wasn't the best sort of thing to do with yourself. You also get hurt if that's something that could happen. But the fact is, cutting myself was was a way of me stopping from damaging property at the same time. But also because I just didn't value my life in general when others did value my life. Uh, so I haven't really been cutting myself since being able to talk things through when I melt down with Maddie and being able to work in my garden has been giving me a lot more endorphins and positivity of dopamine into my brain that's been rewarding me like like it was telling me I was a cook girl because I was successfully like planting plants and they were growing I'm rambling now because I'm really tired and it's probably almost three o'clock in the morning I don't really know but if I can ever get my words correct I promise I'll make a better video on befores and afters but the last three years things just were not the best and I was barely getting by. I didn't even know what I was going to do. If you told me what I would do for the next five years, I I would melt down. I would get overwhelmed. I would get super duper depressed. I would have an ovary sensory overload. And I just, I just wouldn't really know what to do with myself. And I'm appreciative that nobody's asking me that now because I don't want to think about the future because it always makes me depressed because I'm a high school dropout and I'll never really amount to anything. Also, I know that this video is already rambling on because that's just how autism works in general. Um, and with me being female for the most part, I just, I talk way too much than I probably could. And I just suck at organizing my words in, in the way that they possibly should be. But here's the thing. I don't have a single part of my memories in the last, I don't know, since ever, since the day I was born to how old I am now, which is 30. I don't have 30 years of memories that I should have, but due to damaged parts of my brain where I just don't have any memory retention and memory I guess recollections if that makes sense so me recording and uploading is really a great source for me to be able to look back on this content as journal entries as they are uh, yeah I, I took on this video wait wait too freaky that it's supposed to be uploaded or I'll just skip it Riley, say Wednesday and I'll just upload Sunday instead of uploading Wednesday and Sunday or if I miss Sunday I'll only upload Hi, Wednesday Riley. and hopefully upload the next Sunday gonna, if that makes sense say. but yeah I I love you all take care peace Stay. bye comment like subscribe subscribe I'm sorry that this video Stay. came out no. super Stay. duper depressing but trust me I am definitely in a hell Riley. lot better place and I'm just pushing myself no. mentally forward no. rather backwards. Stay. I love you all. Take care. Bye. Stay.